Hello everyone, this is Sispawn, and welcome to part 12 of my Roman Spectrum 2.5 Pontus campaign. Now I just ended off uh, finishing off the Seleucid invasion in the area, and we have, so it looks like we have some rebels down here by Tarsus in Cilicia, and our army up here, it looks like, is finishing up its retraining in Amasia. Let's start the script up before we forget. And we were planning our invasion of the Ptolemaic regions over here. Now, looks like the Greeks still hold Rhodes, so we'll just be taking this strip and probably Cyrene as well. Or Cyprus, I guess. Either way. Um, I really don't think there's a whole lot left in this turn. I'm not going to give the Ptolemies a declaration of war, or at least a cessation of reliance quite yet. I want to make sure everything's in order after those battles we had, so it'll be a few turns of retraining, probably. And my spies are pretty good for the most part. I think I'm going to poke around, see if the Seleucids have anything big heading my way that I haven't seen. I might as well find... Oh, I've already found Palmyra. But I'm not really seeing much at all, which is great. So let's just kind of move him back this way a little bit. We'll set him back about here or so when he can. Got a garrison here with a general or a governor one turn away from being trained. So I think this is a good time to end the turn. Alrighty. Almost done. There we go. We made money. Spartacus got a war hero. And Spartacus is our... Is he our... New guy? Nope. Our new guy is... Old Ganos of... Nea Caesarea. Anyways, he'll be heading down to Laodica either way. And Antioch definitely needs something to increase his happiness here, but we'll get back to that in a second. Okay, quite a few places have completed construction. Nothing really to see here besides our retraining and that general we just moved to Laodica. Sparta and the Greek city-states are at war. Turmoil over in Greece is definitely a good thing. As long as no one gains the upper hand, it's a good thing at least. Okay. Anything important here that we've got finished building? Not really. So, let's look around. There, Clay needs something, and the... Pergamese are still just sitting in an army over here, kind of unnerving, but hey, you know what? We can all be friends, right? Let's get tribal justice for Heraclea. Apamea is getting happier. Let's go ahead and move them to medium taxation. That'll decrease their happiness a little bit, but it will slow down their uh, growth, which will be a good thing. That'll give us more time to build these buildings we need to to keep them happy. And I'd almost say they're happy enough for me to build wells. I mean, they greatly increase the uh, growth speed, but they give such a huge benefit to uh, public order that it's really, I usually find it worth a trade-off, even though you lose a little, little bit of tax income. First aid center is great, but it's not nearly big enough that I need to start worrying about those. So yeah, let's go ahead and build the wells here. Sinope. What to do with you, Sinope? I may make you an autonomous city here at some point, but if I can get you happy enough, I'd rather just occupy you. As you're going to be pretty prosperous, really. For now, let's just keep making him happy, so... Any law temples left? There we go. 
I don't really know if he's getting any corruption. Not really, so it didn't matter, but no point in changing it. Tarsus, I might also give them wells. Their growth is slowing down and their happiness isn't bad, so let's do it. Antioch. Right, we were going to build you the military training facility here. Am I really gaining anything from that? Not a lot, but that's one step closer to the next level, so it's alright. We'll just get that. We can afford it, so why not? Honestly, I think that's all the non-fighting that I'm going to be doing for this turn, besides just putting this army back together, which we'll do really quickly before we fight those rebels. And this is still my uh, setup for city taking, which is fine since we're going to be going after these settlements down here. So, give me just a second while I put this together for us. Ooh, and apparently I cannot retrain through a four here. I always forget that. They drop out of the elite level of barracks, I think. So we'll send them down that way and get them next turn. Not a big deal. Did I really only have one archer unit in this army? Let's fix that. We just lost that Thura 4 unit anyways. We don't really need it. Alright, perfect. And we'll just keep them... Oh. You know, it's going to be a few turns before I need them, but I'm just going to keep them around here. That way they're in range of Heraclea in case Pergamon decides to make a move on it and surprise me. So, I'm going to make a quick save here. Whoops, wrong button. Make a battle save. Not that I've had any crashes in this campaign yet, thankfully, but... Oh, and they ran away, so let's go hunt these rebels down. And... This will be a pretty easy battle, but they're big enough I think we can justify fighting on the campaign map. I'm just going to cut away and come back to you when the battle's closer to starting. Alright guys, the battle started. I'm just kind of marching my way over there, so I'm going to triple speed it. Very simple deployment. It's pretty similar to what I've used, with the exception that my skirmishers are out here in front. And it's a lot more compact than my usual formation, but... Yeah, mainly just because they have such a small army against me here. Alright. Hmm. And if I sound tired at all recording, it's because it's after work and it's about 1 o'clock in the morning, so that's why. Alrighty, getting pretty close. We're going to go ahead and get these guys ready to be lined up over here on the flank. Let's see, the rest of my army is going to line up about right here. Perfect. Right about there, actually. Whew. Okay, it looks like I think these are slingers they're sending forward here. Indeed. We're going to have my horse archers focus fire on them, I think. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, they're walking, that's what. They're going to send their cavalry over here to mess with my horse archers, so we'll pull them back a little bit. Nope, they backed off. Either way, they will keep them busy until the rest of my army gets here, which they're basically here now. Alright, let's start targeting these guys here. I don't want them to pummel my guys, especially with my skirmishers out front. Alright, almost set up there. Let's go ahead and get this little height advantage right here. They're peeling off some swordsmen to run at me, but they're probably just going to turn around and run back away. Eh, at which point, yeah. Uh, I was going to get some good shots in the back, but... oh. Let's pull these guys back. I didn't really get a chance to use them, but that's okay. You gonna pull back here? Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. I said pull back. Come on. Keep. You can do it. I believe. I believe in you. Alright. They're out of there. That's alright. They're about to get hit by a crap ton of javelins. Okay, and these are naked spearmen, so we will go ahead and re gather those skirmishers and try to get them around the flanks of this army here. My regular archers are in range now, so let's start hitting these mercenary phalangites. Whoa, not what I meant to click. That's what I wanted. Now these guys have no chance. They're going head on into my phalanx units. So it's already losing strategy, but I don't feel like waiting for it to grind out, so we'll give them a little encouragement to uh, run away. Namely, throwing a bunch of javelins into their backs. And considering they're wearing nothing, minus like these cloaks, it's not going to feel very good. Now they are bringing a phalanx unit in here, but I'm not even remotely worried. This will be quick. Very quick. Kill them all! Kill them all! Oh yeah. There, they're already routing. Okay. You guys go ahead and move up here. Skirmishers, just get out of the way there. You've done your job. And how about you horse archers? Let's take care of this general here. And honestly, probably just charge it, I'm going to. No point in dragging this battle out unnecessarily, and they're still not retreating, again. One thing that I'm very happy with that they announced about uh, Rome Total War 2 is that repeatedly clicking units should actually translate into increased urgency in their movement, which is something that's been desperately lacking in the Total War series. Units just kind of get stuck on each other and don't feel like going anywhere once they're engaged. And that really takes away a lot of tactics. It makes it hard to do the Roman style refreshing of lines because once they're engaged if you pull back they're just gonna either stick together or they're gonna rout so it's kinda cool I don't know I'm just kinda rambling on at the moment but I'm kind of excited about it let's get some of my cavalry involved here they've just been sitting on their asses Oh, those naked spearmen came back from routing, so we're just going to shoot them. I don't know what he's doing. Not what I told him to do, that's, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and give them a quick charge right here. Oh, that actually finished the battle, so I'll see you guys at the results screen. Alright, that's the battle. Pretty standard, but I just wanted to get some quick action shots in early in the episode, so... Wow. I lost 28 guys to them. Maybe a few from Friendly Fire, it looks like. Alrighty. Dionysus, you will head back up this way to retrain your units. And I think most of my troops should be retrained at Mazicum. Obviously my Therakitai and maybe my Hatai Royal will go up to Amasia, but Hopefully by next turn they'll all be retraining. So, really that was a pretty quick easy turn. Let's go ahead and end it here. Move faster. Oh, how cute. They're still trying. I think we'll just... Oh, dang it. Won't you guys just go away? I mean, that'd be awesome if you did. I might just kind of have to get a few more cavalry units down at Antioch and clear them out. Let's see. I can't get any shock cavalry down here at the moment, unfortunately, but I do have this Zeistafori just sitting here. So... Anyways, I'll look at that in a second here. Obviously that was besieged. 
lose making a little less money because of that. Let's go to Amasia first of all. And what do I want from you, Amasia? Get some trade expeditions going. We need to make more money, per usual. Let's see. So no... Mm. I'm not going to build you a ship right this turn. I want to save a little more money than that. But we'll give you a level 2 Temple of Ares. And nothing really important here for us. Let's see. Oh, Heraclea needs something. What shall we give you? Let's just give you Governance Termination. Laodica needs to build something, but it's currently besieged. So Tala, I feel like you're getting neglected. I don't know if you actually are. I think it's just because you have 130 public order. We're just going to go ahead and build you a first aid center. And we're going to save the rest for retraining. I am going to go ahead and send this army up here. They don't really have anything big down there, so I think we'll be able to take care of it with whatever we have in the area. Okay. Hmm. I'm actually going to delay them, since they're not really part of this army, and take that instead. I think all of these guys can be retrained up here. I'm not sure what about is the Zeistafori, but we'll see. Oh, they can't reach it anyways, so... Just go ahead and move you guys up this way. Maybe without the catapults they can. Yeah, at least the cavalry can. Oh, the infantry can too. It's just the catapult that can't make it. Okay. Perfect. And since he's all alone, you just kind of stand next to him. And let's see. Oh, got some Palmyron cataphracts. That's lovely. But I think we can easily re relieve Laodicea this turn. Let's see. I don't want to leave it completely in garrison just in case, so we'll leave you know, the Palmyron phalangites behind. And really this is a pretty small army, so leave that behind and see how Antioch feels. Eh, they're not too happy with me. But we'll just lower taxes for the moment, and still not very happy, but I should be making it back just fine. I would hope. And let's attack. Alright, so I've got... Oh, I kind of killed the recording accidentally. I have everything set up now. Let's start the battle. And... I'm not even going to worry about those reinforcements. This army is... Nice to be fighting with something different than my usual two armies, but really, besides the inclusion of a lot of slingers, it's basically just a smaller version of what I'm used to using. It's got phalanx core, medium infantry, flankers, archers in the back, and then light and heavy cap. So yeah, nothing too out there, unfortunately, but hey, it's a change. It's going to triple speed it while everyone gets into formation. <sighs> Come on guys, hurry up. I'll just get back to you when it's closer. Okay, we're just about to start the battle here. So far all we can see of their forces are these Acontisti, who are charging for whatever reason. If they think it's a good idea, let's let them get slaughtered. Three units of slingers should tear them apart pretty easily. Oh, 
and the archers. Wow. That's surprisingly ineffective. Are they actually going for a melee charge? They are. Okay. I mean, whatever floats their boat. Alright. Missile units. Stop firing. Cavalry. Minus you. Oh, they're already broken. Yeah. Figured that wasn't going to be too long. They ruined my formation, though, those jerks. We're going to send these guys around so they can chase them down if they continue routing. We're going to treat them really quickly. What are you doing? Oh, I don't have them on guard mode. So they're trying to stay in range. These guys really can't make up their minds very well, can they? Oh, we'll just get them over here somewhere. You know what? This is just light units. I'm wasting my time. Let's just charge them. I don't think they have anything else here. I kind of thought they might have had some heavier units hidden, but I'm not thinking they do. Let's take them off fire at will, take all these guys off fire at will, and have them stop firing. And this should be pretty quick and easy here. Not really much to see, honestly. Wow, these, um, what did I find? There's a Contista, but they're kind of kicking the butts of my Prodromoy, so... Or they're at least putting up stiffer resistance than I would have expected. I guess these guys aren't really meant for melee. These are light lancers. They're just good at charges. So let's get them a charge. Okay, good. Let's send these guys right there. Same with them. There's only one of them left, so let's just send him in here. And we'll let my ranged units take care of this guy. Oh, man, that's already taken care of. Triple speed it again. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'll continue for experience sake, but... Get all the experience from my units that I can. And that was ridiculously easy. I don't know what it is, but the Seleucids are just sending crap units right now. I kind of want to check and see if they're fighting anyone else besides, I think it's just me and the Ptolemies, too. So I don't know if they're wasting all their good armies against the Ptolemies or what, but... For a while, they've just been sending garbage over here. Which, I mean, is nice. It's easy to kill, but it's not as much fun. Not as much fun battles, and it's probably not as much fun to watch. Alas, what can we do? Retrain them really quickly. Oh, I can't even retrain my Protromoy down here yet. Let's see. I will after this, this is done, so two more turns and they will be able to. And don't think there's much else to do this turn. Let's go ahead and end it. I keep forgetting to restart my timer for the episode. So I don't know exactly how long this has been going on. Really? They're back at Tarsus again? Okay, well, goodbye Tarsus. It was nice knowing you debating whether that's even worth showing. It's going to be a slaughter. No, I don't think it is. Ah. Who cares? Let's watch me get slaughtered. Alright, now we could deploy up here. It looks like they don't have any rams. They just have those elephants, obviously, since they just got here. So we could sit here and just try to run, make them run amok. And we might actually win if they do. 
So I think that's a rest shot, rather than letting them get to the city square and flanking us from all the different angles. So... I should have the EDB set, so the, um, or the EDU, set so these elephants are actually, you know, not immortal tanks like they are if you don't fix it. But, um, occasionally it does seem to reset itself, so I guess we'll find out the hard way. Not really much we can do, so I guess we'll just start the battle. Let's have fun, guys. Uh, triple speed it. What in the world? The elephants are like doing the shuffle towards me. They're like doing the Zoidberg walk. Oh, I think you're going to batter down our gates, huh? Well, you are, but we'll see what happens after that. If I had better than Levy Pikeman, I'd be a little more confident, but will you, one of you just decide to go? What is... Stop pumping the gate in each other. How is that even doing anything? And he is the smart one. He does not want to move. I do not blame him. Okay, now they're just rushing everyone else, and I really want those elephants to come in and run amok. But at the same time, I have a feeling that they'll just walk right through these guys. We'll see what happens. Just hurry up and do something, please. I think we're just going to double speed it. There's not a whole lot to... What just happened? That elephant just had a stroke. <laughs> he just fell dead from sheer fear. That's hilarious. I've never seen that happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just find that amusing. And there's a second elephant that just had a stroke. Maybe we can actually get that, uh, that chain route going if they run amok. Though they need to route with a few of them still alive to create the damage I want. Well, actually, if they run amok, they're all throughout that army. That would just be a slaughter. So we might actually have a chance of holding this. You never know. Assuming they don't just burst right through this unit here shortly. Which is a very real possibility because they're starting to disrupt the formation really badly. As soon as they get out of formation, don't have their spears in play, that Levy Pikeman unit is just toast. And it's already starting to disintegrate on the left. Come on, elephants. Break. If I had one unit of archers to fire flaming arrows... If only. He's still just chilling. Come on. It's gonna keep blowing my general's horn. Keep the morale up here. Crap. I'm gonna move my general over this way. You're gonna help out in case he breaks through there. Come on. Elephants, hurry up and die in route. Kill all your friends. Please? See if I can help back them up. Hopefully I don't just screw up my own formation. That would suck. Yeah, this unit's seeing better days, but I gotta at least try to help them out. back out. Oh crap. Don't mess up the formation, guys. Come on, just get out of here. Shoot. I think that was pretty counterproductive, actually. I don't know. We'll see. Oh yeah, they just lost a ton of guys right there. I don't think we're going to get saved by a miraculous route here, from the looks of things. Oh yeah, here comes our friends. Holy F, yeah, they lost formation, now they're just getting hacked up from the flanks. Units, General, come back, 
Oh, what the? They just pushed right through without even having to do any fighting on this side. That's terrible. This battle is probably officially lost here. Oh yeah, what is going on? Alright, route these elephants, guys. Only hope. Only hope. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I have a feeling they're not going to be routing. I have a feeling we're going to be routing very quickly. Oh, well. Glorious death. Fight to the last man. Attack the elephants. It's your only hope. Okay, yep, yeah, this battle's over. It was worth a try. Okay, well, you know what? We killed 227 of them, which is probably much better than we would have gotten with the auto-resolve, so... Sucks to be them, but we shall survive. Alright. Well, the Seleucids decided to be jerks here and cut our empire in half. So we'll have to definitely retake Tarsus with that army we have up there. And, oh, they only occupied it, so there's not really going to be any damage, fortunately. Spartacus died. Alright. Well, guys, I think that's going to be the end of the episode. The next episode will obviously feature the recapturing of Tarsus. Probably a further punitive expedition against the Seleucids to just get a, some kind of buffer going. And I'm definitely, due to this, going to have to get some kind of fort system set up. Maybe just right here to discourage them from just walking past my other territories and striking in behind my defenses. So, uh, yeah, both of those things will be happening next video. Thanks for watching. And um, look forward to getting revenge. See you next time.